Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the highly requested leotard collection for gymnastics. Leotards could also be for like ballet and dance. That's why I want to specify. I have a lot of leos. This whole bin is filled with them and some of them are in the wash. I can't really control that because I will always have leos in the wash since I do gymnastics six days a week. I'm only missing about five leos because I do my laundry every week and I'm gonna try to try them all on. I don't know how many I will get to trying on because that is a lot of leos to try on. This bin is just from TJ Maxx. It's Heritage Living and it holds all my leos very well. Before this video gets started, I want to talk about dossier. I've talked about them in a couple of other videos i think two other ones they are a dupe perfume brand they take really high quality expensive perfume brands and they make them smell very similar a lot cheaper their perfumes are between 20 to 40 dollars i have two perfumes to show you the really nice thing about dossier is that they have a return policy that you can smell the perfume and return it if you don't like it if you want to learn more about them then check out their website in my description box you can see the scent it's inspired by i know that they have a lot of ysl ones this is what the box looks like that it comes in it comes with a card telling you about the perfume and how their return policy works. This one is Floriental Marshmallow. It has top notes of marshmallow, neroli, and bergamot. I'm going to butcher like all of these. Middle notes of orange blossom, honeysuckle, jasmine, and orris. Base notes of amber, vanilla, and musk. It's inspired by Killian Love Don't Be Shy perfume its concentration is 18 percent. this is what the bottle looks like it has the notes on the top as well and then the name of the perfume and their logo these bottles are super cool because they have magnetic lids this one smells very sweet but it has like a little bit of a musky undertone i'm assuming that's the musk it's a really dark color this is definitely darker than any of the other perfumes that i've gotten from them i can't really explain how it smells but literally it smells exactly like marshmallows this is the second one. This one's called Fruity Honey. It has top notes of black currant, green leaves, middle notes of honey and nectarine, base notes of peach and vetiver. It's inspired by Joe Malone's Nectar Blossom and Honey Cologne. This one might honestly be for men. I know they have different sections on the website that have female, men, and gender neutral scents. It smells so good though. Like I would definitely wear this. It just smells like fruity you guys should definitely go order from dossier if you're looking for high quality perfume scents i'm just gonna pull a leo and then tell you where it's from and a little bit about it i'm starting with this red one it's from gk you're gonna notice a lot of these are from gk expect that to be very repetitive this one is just red it has like a very scaly texture I got this around Christmas time, which is fitting. This next one's also from GK. It's pink and it has mesh stripes. The back is literally just completely pink. This is a Simone Biles collection with GK Leo. Red, white, and blue. It has stripes and stars on it. This one's really unique. It's very open. This one is from some random brand on Amazon. United All Around. They have obviously a website, but I got this from Amazon because I had a $25 Amazon gift card. I just hate how high up it cuts. I really like the white with like the gems scattered. This one, I literally don't know where I got it from. My friend gave it to me and it's just plaid. I really also like the fit of this one. This is a Plum Leo. It has like eyes on it. I got this in a collab with them. It's just like black. Again, from GK, I really don't like how low this cuts, but I love the back. I haven't worn this in a while. Maybe I'll wear it tomorrow. I just wish it was cut higher in the front. I literally don't know where this Leo is from. It's just completely leopard print, and I think this one fits me so well. This is a Higo Leo. I think the design of this looks a little bit weird just because it's, like, fading. I don't like the seam in the middle. I really like the back of this one because it's really unique. This is mesh, and then it cuts out at the top. My friend gave me this one, again, it's gray, teal, and black cheetah print. Again, I don't know where this leaf is from because it has no tags in it. It's a really cute swirly pattern, purple lining around the edges. It has like a snake pattern as well on top of the swirls. This is an Under Armour Leo, and it's pretty old and faded. I don't even know who I got this from, but... Again, I got it from a friend. It's a Razorback. Next is a Salute Leo. I love Salute Leos because I like thin strap Leos like this that look like tank tops. This is a very complicated Leo. This next one is also from Salute. It has a cutout on the back. 
diamond pattern. This is another Higo and one of my personal favorites. It has cherry blossoms. I'm pretty sure those are cherry blossoms on it. White, maroon, bright pink. It also has a very intricate back. It has all open straps crisscrossing gk1 i love this one because it's like basic but not basic all black in the front and then it has just like a lining of gems and the back is super crisscrossy this is a pretty old leo i got it from addison one of our camp leos from gk obviously says our gym name on it prestige fourth of july themed i think this is a racerback one this one is one of our cuter camp leos another plum dark blue on the front and then red white and blue circles on the back we have a sylvia p this is the first sylvia p i've shown because they are very expensive they're very high quality and that's why they're so expensive i think they're all double lined i didn't even realize it has like printed on like sea glass then the back is super cool it has all crisscrossy back and open and then it's like mesh here i went to westchester camp in december and we got these leos for camp when we signed up it has the westchester logo on the back and then it's all black the front is this really cute purple another plum that was part of our collab when they sent me and then the back has a cute little crisscross at the top this was one of our spirit leos for prestige it wasn't a camp leo but every like spring and fall they do spirit leos that you can order them i got the blue one it was either blue or like like purple ish pink a little razorback cutout but like with also mesh this is really cool actually this leo we got from a meet i literally never wear it anymore it's pink and blue it reminds me of con candy and it just says parquet's invitational with a star on the front 2021 on the back this is another one of my favorite higo ones super unique and it has lace i love this white lace and then it has like gems cutting it out gem band around the waist part of it like boxy razor cut one of my older plums different shades of blue it's really really basic again this is another old plum one basic it reminds me of like lightning or like electricity this is one of my sylvia pieces that i actually hate so much i hate how it looks on me and like it's a little bit big i do like the pattern and the color i just hate how it looks in the back okay this one my friend gave me because she said it's really uncomfortable really funny because it says her name on it she models for gk so do i the one shoot they did was for customized leos so they customized their name on it i think it's really comfortable it says addison on it but i'll never wear it because it says addison on it i think i wore it the one day as a joke super old plum leo it is fading so much I had it for seven years black on the front and then has this like green pink white pattern this was from another camp fun fact i forgot my leo when i was going to towson camp back in october and so we had to buy one of theirs it has their logo on the back this is another gk one this is super super simple but i love this leo it's like a jersey material heathered razorback last one is from plum this is definitely from our collab it's one of their ones they released last february light pink purple dark blue black i love this one because i love light colored leos that is all of my leos at least all of the clean ones um, this is the one it's dirty right now it has a bunch of chalk on it this is a super super cute higo one and it's really unique i love the gems going up the front and then the back is super open like you can't tell right now but it literally is completely open in the back look at my <laughs> i can't talk um welcome back to lydia's channel never ever seen her wear this leo or this leo okay this leo actually looks so good with this bra everyone check the description box for all of my socials